Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, the Up Chanel's 48th World, where we have me and we have you. Then you are the family. You all are my co hosts. Cha, cha, cha. We got to talk about the Judd family. Okay, Winona and Ashley. Maybe their mother knew something that she never put out to the public, but the people that were closely around them could see their rivalry. Now, I'm thinking the mom done did them wrong when it was uh, when it was a question of who she was going to leave her fortune to. But maybe uh, Mama Judd knew more than what we thought we knew about her kids. Because Radar Online is out there reporting that they have a little sister rivalry going on. Okay? And it gets juicier, people. It gets juicier. All right. We got Whitney Vasquez brought out this article um, to Radar Online. Uh, or radar radar.com which one is no it's radar online.com yes okay she titled it sister rivalry runs deep why nona judd claimed ashley stole her daughter and put tracking device on an on actress's vehicle in bitter custody war what in the hell is going on i thought black folks got down and got dirty when it came to the states of them uh getting something uh money um from their in-laws or uh, family members or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're the be beneficiaries of the deceased uh, loved one. But child, we got to get into this because I didn't even read it. I thought I'd just read it with child. Okay, but we go on. Jade, if you don't get that little toy out of here. Why don't a judge turbulent relationship with her sister Ashley Judd dates back decades with their bitter rivalry coming to a head when the actress went gunning for the singer's daughter. And I don't make no sense. What? Uh, Ashley, what you doing trying to take one on the judge's daughter? Girl, one on the judge didn't like that much at all. Then we got Radar can confirm that Judd's sisters were at war long before their late mother, Naomi, Judd left them without inheritance by cutting Winona and Ashley out of her $25 million wheel. Their feud made headlines when the kiss the girl's actress dragged her older sister to court or, uh, over custody of Winona's then 17-year-old daughter, Grace. Okay? It got so nasty between the two that Ashley was convinced uh, the no one else on earth singer had bugged one of her vehicles with a tracking device. The blockbuster exclusively was blown wide open by the National Enquirer. Okay? Mm -mm. Ashley is claiming her sister Winona put a bug on her car or like it said a tracking device uh, to keep up with her. Ooh my goodness going back to the article it says Winona is furious that Ashley has poked her nose where it doesn't belong an insider told the outlet in 2014 she says that Ashley had stolen her daughter and Winona is spying on Grace because she wants her back home Grace fallout with her mother stems from when the country singer sent her to a behavior camp for six months in 2012 in a desperate attempt to get out from under Winona's thumb, the teenager petitioned a Tennessee court to grant temporary custody to her aunt. Legally, Grace couldn't move out of her mother's home without permission, a source revealed. So she went to her aunt Ashley and asked for help. After Grace described her mother's nasty name calling, put downs, and substance abuse, a judge agreed to give Ashley temporary custody. Mm, 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 mm. The mama don't went rogue. And that's why Nona, okay, we're talking about. Uh, her plea worked. Ashley was awarded temporary custody of Grace, infuriating Winona. Grace lived on her aunt's 
Sparling estate with the actress handling her niece with well the actress handing her niece to ke the keys to her silver mini Cooper. Okay, the Franklin Police Department said a GPS tracking device was discovered on the car when Grace took it to a repair shop in November of 2013. It was linked to a private detective in Nashville. Winona's attorney later admitted to law enforcement that her client obtained the, the device from the private detective but insisted the singer gave it to Grace's father, Arch Kelly, who they claim put it on Ashley's car that Grace was driving. Ashley convinced that Winona put the GPS on the car Grace uses because she f she's furious over her close relationship with the girl. A close pile said about the custody drama. Ashley knew going to court was going to add fuel to the fire, but she had to help Grace get out of her mother's house. Winona and Ashley's relationship isn't the only strained one in the Judd family. As Radar Online dot com exclusively reported Winona is gearing up to contest her late mother's will after discovering Naomi cut her and Ashley out of it. Naomi left her fortune and uh, left her fortune to her husband, Larry Strickland, and her music catalog, including her famous songs with Winona. The squabbling sisters are at odds over their mother's decision, with Ashley Ashley believing Naomi knew what she was doing by leaving everything to Larry. The uh, Judd Matriarch committed, uh, you know what she did to herself, in April after a long struggle with her mental health. She was 76 years old. Okay, that's see, that what I'm talking about. See, you see how uh, stories get put out there, and it's very vague. You don't really know what's going on, and they don't give you too much details. Then a couple of weeks later, you hear about something else. A storm is brewing, and it had nothing to necessarily do totally with you know, Larry, her husband, getting the estate, putting his name in. He's supposed to divvy out however he feels he want to divvy out the money to her uh, two uh, daughters that were left. Child, I'm beginning to think that uh, Winona allegedly is into some ooey and some other uh, substance, substances that can be very highly addictive. Okay? And that's probably why she didn't leave it to her because... I did remember reading something in an article where she was just blowing money, meaning Winona. Uh, and actually, I mean, I sure really didn't say too much about Ashley, but because Ashley has always been a quiet one when it came to the three of them. She's always been, you know what I'm saying, uh, there but not necessarily there. And she definitely made a very good impression on her niece, because her niece sought out her help, because her mama, Winona, was going crazy on her, okay? Woo, I tell you, it just keeps, the story just keeps developing and keeps developing, and I will update y'all as I see, <laughs> when I feel, when I hear we got some more shit going on with the Judd family, the Judd sisters, I will let you know, and I'll do a video, okay? So put your notifications on, honey, because you never know, you just never know when I Got some tea to spill with y'all, and y'all just can't get over to the house quick enough, okay? Woo! So, see, black folks ain't the only ones that be tripping. Black folks be tripping, too, all right? And then they be tripping with a little comedy. You know, like, how the hell are you going to put a tracking device? You're going to ask your husband to, well, you're going to go <laughs> ask a detective to buy you something, uh, tracking your daughter's whereabouts. Then you're going to tell your husband or ex-husband to go and put it on the on the car that, Ashley had given her niece to drive to get around town. You know what I'm saying? What make make it make sense? I, like I said, you just can't make some of this shit up that be in the news media on these celebrities. You just can't make it up, okay? But that's all I got for this particular video. I believe Mama Judd knew exactly what she was doing when she left that money to little Larry, okay? And hopefully he would do pretty much what his wife wanted him to do, but she could no longer, you know, be on this plane of existence. And it, it's going to be hell. So I hope Larry go on and do him a wheel too. Because we don't never know when anybody's going out the world or young go out before the old, as you know, or vice versa. You just never know when it's time for you to leave this plane of existence, okay? But yeah, if I were Larry, <laughs> I would be already be look a hill, look a hill. I ain't telling y'all what y'all gonna get, but y'all gonna get something. It ain't gonna be no dollar or no hundred dollars. And y'all try to come dig me up out of my grave and try to beat me when I'm already dead. 
But, uh, yeah, because even if you told the denomination that you were going to give them, they'll be swaying, you know, something going on. And who's to say that they don't crack up one day and go try to get Larry and take him out? You see what I'm saying? Because if my Nona can sit up there and put a tracking device on her daughter's car, what do you think she would do to little Larry? He's already old. He's already old. Got one foot in the grave and one on a banana peel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. But that's all I got for this video, guys. And I will see you next time.